Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it is going to be on Goki Nightmares. This is going to be an extra link combo, starting out with just Predaplant or for Scorpio plus a monster to discard. This is a very strong combo, and it doesn't necessarily need to start with Scorpio. It can start with various other starting hands, like Warrior plus a Goki, or Super X into Goki, uh, all that sort of stuff, but Scorpio is the easiest way to get the play started and yields the highest amount of card advantage and the biggest results with the least amount of cards invested. So it was definitely one of the combos that I wanted to start with in terms of showcasing for those of you who need a little bit of help figuring out how this deck operates because it is a pretty complex deck when you're trying to figure out what goes where placing is super important with this deck like very important uh, each combo sequence that you're performing requires different placing requires different management of your goki names and all that sort of stuff but it's a deck i've been playing a lot over the past couple of weeks and i've been really enjoying it it's got a similar feel to world chalice in that it's a very aggressive link spam deck that yields big boards that are hard to deal with full of link monsters but it's actually a lot more resilient and a lot more flexible in its openings in terms of what gets the plays started in good ways. So it's actually one of those things that I've just really been enjoying playing because it's a nice difference from World Chalice where World Chalice is literally just summon Venus or you lose. Uh, it's very linear in terms of what your starting points for your plays have to be. It's very small in terms of uh, what your variables are and what your options are. Meanwhile, Gokis have tons of... Of different extension options different starter options all that sort of stuff but so it's a deck i've been really enjoying to play but like i said this combo is going to be an excellent combo requiring just scorpio plus a monster to discard doesn't matter what the monster is if it's a hand trap like it is in this situation depending on what the rest of your hand was as well as if you draw into a monster off of the three nightmare draws you're going to be getting this turn for free you could just add the hand trap back to your hand off the firewall dragon and then keep it there so we'll be showcasing that uh, so basically, without that, without saying too much else, I can explain these things as we're performing the combo. But so, before I start showing you the combo, I'd like to give a special thanks to my two newest patrons, chosen by Zawildo and Celestino Gonzalez. You two are amazing. You two have helped out a lot. You're supporting the channel in an amazing way. And those of you who also want to support the channel in a way that helps me be able to make more content more regularly or do more live streams regularly, stuff like that, because it is kind of hard to schedule doing this stuff while you're also busy trying to adult. Uh, then the Patreon link is in the description down below. Even something as small as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show support for the channel if you enjoy the content that I am making. But, other than that, let's jump straight into this combo. This combo, like I said, requires just Scorpio and a monster to discard, so we're going to do just that. You're going to normal summon Scorpio and use Scorpio's effect to discard the monster, in this case Ash Blossom, because pff, we don't need Ash Blossom, that card's not good anyway, right? Uh, <laughs> you're going to get Darling Cobra out, and Darling Cobra's effect is going to trigger searching instant fusion we don't play in brilliant fusion in this deck because that introduces garnets into the deck when they're unnecessary uh this deck has easy enough access into nightmare goblin uh that like it basically is better brilliant fusion anyway so like no need so you're gonna make invoker with the two preda plants to start getting your gokies into circulation and you're gonna use invoker to summon suprex from your deck because that is the target and then you're going to go with Suprex and the MX Saber Invoker into Izold because they're both warriors. Now from here you have some effects that are going to trigger. You've got the Izold that's going to trigger, you're going to make it Chain Link 1, and the Suprex is Chain Link 2. You're going to do this so that Izold doesn't get destroyed by like Ghost Ogre or something like that, uh, just to protect it, essentially. But so off the Suprex, you're going to be very careful on what you add here. Off the Suprex, you're going to add the card we want to summon, which is Headbat. Izold, whatever that card adds, you can't summon for the rest of the turn. You can't summon cards with that name for the rest of the turn. So we're going to add one of the one of the one of Gokis that we play that we don't really care if we summon or not, and that is Goki Rescorpio. So now from here, that's just going to be used to discard for Headbat. But so from here, we're going to use Izzold's effect for one, sending Divine Sword Phoenix Blade from deck to grave, especially summoning Octo Stretch from deck, which is really going to let us open up our play string. So now from here, Headbat is going to trigger discarding the Rescorpio we couldn't use this turn anyway to special summon itself. And then from here, this is where we start getting into the Nightmare portion. Now, a lot of people do this in different ways. What I'm going to simply show you is my method for the way that I step this up in order. I'm not saying that it's the correct way to do it. I'm just saying it's the way that has worked best for me. Some people will go for Goblin here and go ahead and get the additional Normal Summon with no draw. Some people will make Cerberus and start working on the left-hand side of the field. I personally prefer to go for Phoenix and work on the right-hand side of the field uh, because that gives the Firewall Dragon the most value, in my opinion, and I get the most draws easily out of it. Uh, but so from here, the Octo Stretch and the Headbat are going to trigger for their search effects after I made the Phoenix. 
pointing to the right hand side of the field. Off of one of these guys, you want to make sure you search rematch. And then off the other guy, you just want to search a Goki that hasn't had its name used this turn for its search effect. So we still have two left in deck that haven't been used for their search. That is Twist Cobra and Bear Hug. It doesn't matter which one you add um, because the other one will be added off this one when it goes to grave. So it doesn't matter what order you do it in. You just need to make sure that you're always utilizing all of your Goki names for searches before you start searching duplicates because then you're able to get max value out of your turn structure essentially. But so now from here, I'm going to activate the Instant Fusion as an extender for Invoked Raijin, which is what I play in my list because it's, you know, a good disruption card if you're, uh, or a good card for assisting in playing through boards that might have negation cards on them because you can Instant Fusion for Raijin, try and flip that monster face down. They're probably going to negate it. And then it's just a Warrior Extender to go into Izzold if you don't need that, if you don't need it for that sort of thing. But, so from here, you're going to summon the Raijin, and then you're going to activate Rematch, you're going to activate all your extender cards, and this is very important, you're going to summon Octo Stretch and then any Goki. And Octo Stretch is going to specifically be put in whatever zone is going to be next to where you're summoning Firewall. So in this instance, it's the furthest right hand zone, because I'm working from the right hand side of the field over. If you were working with Cerberus and to the left, then you would put it over here. You just want it to be in the zone immediately next to where Firewall is, because that's going to be important for later in the combo sequence. But so from here, speaking of Firewall, we're going to make it with the Headbat, the Raijin, and the Izzold, treating it as two materials for Firewall Dragon. And then we're going to start into our actual Nightmare plays and start getting actual draws. So we're going to add back Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, which adds itself back by banishing two Warriors. I like to banish the Warriors that can't be used in, like, good uh, value off of Firewall or if I drew Soul Charge or Reborn or whatever. I like to banish those first off of this. Uh, because it just makes it easier to play the rest of your turn out if uh, variables uh, introduce themselves. But so, from here, we're going to link the Nightmare Phoenix into Nightmare Mermaid. Firewall is going to trigger to special summon from hand, and then Mermaid is going to trigger. You have to make Mermaid Chain Link 1 and Firewall Chain Link 2 here. And you're going to discard the Phoenix Blade for Mermaid, and then Firewall will trigger as Chain Link 2. You have to do it in this order, because you have to summon this Twist Cobra before Ibli comes out, because Ibli prevents you from special summoning, unless you're special summoning Link Monsters, which Twist Cobra is not. It is not a Link Monster. <laughs> but so then you're going to draw a card off your Mermaid, and everything is all good. So now this Twist Cobra is on the field, the Ibli is here, and then we're going to immediately add back this Phoenix Blade, because we're going to get another draw with that. So for this one, I'm going to banish Invoker and Rescorpio, because I can't summon Rescorpio this turn because of Izzold. Invoker has already been used. It wouldn't have any value if I reborned it or added it back off Firewall. So that, that's just giving you a little bit of insight into the mindset of like what's going on here. But so now from here, we're going to go into a Nightmare Goblin to yield an additional normal summon. And I'm going to do that with Twist Cobra and the Ibli. Now, we're going to go ahead and activate Ibli's effect and Goblin's effect and Cobra's effect. We're going to make Goblin Chain Link 1, Cobra Chain Link 2, and we're going to make Ibli Chain Link 3. Now, this is going to discard the Phoenix Blade. Cobra is going to get me a search for Bear Hug, and then Ibli is going to be summoned to my opponent's field. Now, I don't like leaving Ibli on my opponent's field, because it doesn't really hurt any decks currently. If you're playing against a Nightmare-based deck, uh, they're just going to make it into Mermaid. It's not really going to lock them. Uh, the only time Ibli is going to lock your opponent down is if you are extra linking them anyway, and usually the decks that you're doing that against... They're either nightmare based or they're decks that didn't matter if if, if Ibli was there. It didn't matter if you extra linked them. Um, or if, it doesn't matter if Ibli is there if you extra linked them or not. You usually just won because of the extra link. Uh, basically, Ibli is only like decent to leave on the field for your opponent against decks that you were already beating going first with your board anyway. So like, Ibli is just a card I just am not a huge fan of letting my opponents keep, right? But so what's going to happen here? is that we're going to banish more monsters for the Phoenix Blade, banish Suprex and Headbat. At this point, we're getting rid of cards we could actually use, but that's fine, because we don't need those cards. Uh, the only card we need to make sure we keep in circulation is Octo Stretch. Uh, that's the only important one, <laughs> basically. But so from here, we couldn't trigger Firewall to Special from Hand, because at this in this hypothetical, we had no monsters in our hand when we Link Summoned Goblin. Because Cobra was searching a monster, but there was no monster in hand to trigger Firewall's effect. So, the reason we had Octo Stretch next to this Firewall is so that we can link it into Link Karibo, which is also going to be super important later in the combo sequence as well. So, sorry European players, uh, you'll be able to do this combo on like June 17th or whenever that structure deck comes out. But so from here, make Link Karibo, that triggers Firewall to special from hand, you're going to special the Bear Hug from hand. And now from here, 
Since we have an Ibli on our opponent's field that we gave them, and we're working on the right-hand side of the board, we are going to use Bear Hug and Link Kribo to go into Nightmare Cerberus. And so Nightmare Cerberus will be chain link 1, Bear Hug will be chain link 2. Cerberus will discard Phoenix Blade to target the Ibli we gave our opponent. Basically, Ibli is not worth it to leave on your opponent's field in most matchups, especially if the matchup is unknown to you. It's not worth it to leave, so might as well give it to the opponent and use it to generate an extra draw, right? Uh, but so from here, we're going to add just a monster off of Bear Hug. All of our monsters have used their uh, their floater effects for the turn, so they can't add any more. Uh, but like, we just get to utilize this stuff uh, in a good way, essentially. But so now we've got Firewall Dragon that can use its bounce effect, and it's now co-linked with three cards. That's why it's important that we worked on this side of the field. So now we're going to use Firewall's effect, and the ones that are mandatory to add back are Ibli and Octo Stretch. Those are the ones that are mandatory to add back. And then you can add back the Ash Blossom that we discarded off of the Scorpio. So you basically get it back, and if you had a hand off of the draws that includes an additional monster, then you're capable of keeping it. And we drew Junk Forward, so we are going to get to keep that uh, Ash Blossom. So even though we invested it into the combo sequence because we drew a monster off of one of those three draws, if we didn't originally have a monster in our hand to use with Scorpio, we get to keep the Ash Blossom. So that's really good. It's really key. It's really premium. But so from here, uh, what we're going to be able to do is that we're going to be able to use our additional normal summon that the Goblin gave us, and we're going to use it for Ibli. And so Ibli is going to be normal summoned, and we're going to bring back Nightmare Phoenix over here next to her. And now we want to be very careful on how we structure this, because we want to keep Firewall on the field for as long as possible, but we also want to keep Special Summoning Monsters out of our hand. We also have to get Ibli off the field first, because it would prevent us from Special Summoning out of our hand off Firewall. So it would look like it looks like a very awkward board. It's a lot of things you have to hit. It's a lot of tick marks you got to check off on a checklist. You've got to link away with Ibli into something that's economical, that starts benefiting your you. You have to get rid of one of the cards that's next to Firewall Dragon, uh, but you have to make sure you keep Goblin here so that you can go up into this extra monster zone. Like, there's so many different things that you have to do in terms of uh, getting this off the floor. But luckily, it's very easy. Uh, luckily, it's very easy for uh, how you can get rid of it in an economical way. And that's by using Cerberus and Ibli into Trigate Wizard right here. And then Firewall will trigger its effect to summon just a monster out of our hand. So we'll summon the Super X because that's what we searched. So that is a tangible resource that we know about. And then we're going to go into Nightmare Unicorn, establishing the extra link. But we're not done yet. This board has a Trigate Wizard that's not live yet. So we're going to use Firewall Dragon. We're going to special summon the Octo Stretch that we added back to our hand off of Firewall. That's why he's important. And this is why Link Karibo is important. So you special summon him next to Firewall. And yet again, we're going to use Link Karibo as a way to just trigger Firewall to special summon monsters from our hand. So you trigger Link Karibo's Grave Effect, sending Octo Stretch. Firewall triggers. And at this point, if you didn't have the Junk Forward that we drew in hand, then you could just special the hand, uh, the hand trap that you discarded, or the monster that you added back in general. You could special summon it and make your Link monster, but because we drew this monster, we'll special summon it instead and keep this card in hand. Basically, we swapped the draw out for like the card we started with. And then from here, you get to go into Nightmare Phoenix. So you get to go into Nightmare Phoenix. And so at this point, you have Trigate Live. Nightmare Phoenix has battle protection on your entire board. Goblin has targeting protection on your entire board. You've got this Firewall Dragon here that is used. Eh, not really the best thing to keep on the board. There are a few different things that you can do here, but you've uh, basically established a lot of cards off of just this Scorpio, right? And if you want to continue, if you want to continue and you have another monster in your hand to summon, because remember, you had three other cards in your hand at the start of this combo sequence. It wasn't just Scorpio plus one card. That's what generated all of this, was Scorpio just plus one card. And as of right now, all of this card advantage came off of literally just Scorpio. If you have another monster in your hand at this point, you can make your board stronger by triggering Firewall, special summoning the monster from your hand, and then linking the Firewall and the monster you summon into Nightmare Cerberus. And so now at this point, the U is still established, the extra link is still here. Your cards can't be destroyed by battle, can't be targeted, and can't be destroyed by card effects, and you've got a Trigate Wizard negating things. <laughs> and then during your next standby, uh, during your next draw phase, because Unicorn is here, uh, oh, and every monster, your, your opponent can't summon from the extra deck, your opponent, uh, all, the opponent, all of your opponent's monsters are going to lose a thousand attack because of Mermaid's effect, because they're not co-linked. They can't be co-linked. They're not summoning monsters from the extra deck, unless they out your uh, things. 
And so, basically, what you have is you have Unicorn on board, and you've got five co-linked Nightmare cards, meaning at the start of your next turn, you draw five cards, if your board stays intact. That's pretty damn good. Like, and if you just want advantage for the sake of advantage, you can banish, banish two warriors from Grave to add this back to your hand just for free, just to have it. Nah. Um, like, you don't need to. But basically, like, this is what gets generated off of one Scorpio. Off of one Scorpio, uh, you ended with the board with Firewall on it, Scorpio plus a monster discard, and then if you drew any monster or had a monster in hand, then you just get to upgrade it into Cerberus as well. Like, this is very strong. Uh, this is a play that I really, really like doing uh, because it's like, it's basically, literally, like, the only out to this board is, like, Kaiju Raigeki. Well, even then, like, Kaiju Raigeki doesn't, it doesn't out these, um, but, like, if you leave them with Ibli, they can't kaiju you. That is a factor. Uh, there's things like double evenly match that break this board. But most decks, game one, are not going to be able to break this board. Uh, sphere mode can break this board, obviously, but you know, we, we don't like we don't factor in those things in game ones. And in game twos and game threes, we have side deck cards that would prevent those from happening. Those occurrences from happening. Stuff like that. Uh, but basically there's very few outs to a board like this, and it's it was made off literally 1.5, 2-ish cards. So, something that you need to respect, and it's a very, very, very good combo for this deck to perform. It's one of my favorite things to do with this deck is just shitting out the U. It's literally just extra link. If you draw Scorpio, you should be able to extra link every single time with a hand like that. If you draw two level 3s that can make Invoker, you should be extra linking every single time with that. Uh, if you draw Goki plus a monster that can be summoned... Uh, in addition to the Goki, to start going into Izzold, you should be extra linking every single time with those hands. Some hands will require one or two extra monsters to perform the combo to be summoned off Firewall, but you are still drawing three cards regardless. Uh, so, like, if you're if you're playing Goki and every combo you're doing can't end in an extra link, then you're doing something incorrectly, and you need to start, like, playing around with where your placement of stuff is. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video, for this combo. Uh, a little bit longer than I was expecting it to be, but oh well, things happen. As always guys, thanks for watching, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, make sure to like the video if you want to see more content like this, subscribe if you're new here and haven't already, and check out the links in the description to my Facebook fan page, my personal Twitch page if you want to catch some live streams that I try to do at least once a week, and if you want to support me directly, the Patreon link is in the description as well. And like I said, all of you that are currently my patrons are greatly appreciated, you guys help out a ton, and I would definitely definitely not be able to do this nearly as well as I do without you guys that support. It just makes it a little bit easier each month. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I'll see you in the next video.